apologize for last week and not posting any video because we really didn't video anything. But Bryn did video a little bit of her financial stuff, so I'm gonna put that here now. Hey everyone, so gosh, I think the last vlog ended on Sunday and it's Thursday and we have not picked up the camera. Um, in my case, I've had a very uneventful weekend, but I'm honestly okay with that. You know, our work week can tend to be kind of hectic and crazy and busy, so it's nice to just relax. Um, so today, again, really chill. It's almost 2 p.m. and I really haven't done a whole lot. Um, but what I did do and what I do every week is I budget for the week and then I go to the bank and pull out some cash for our cash envelopes. So I figured maybe I should show you what exactly <clears throat> I do with that. Okay, so I apologize in advance for this strange angle. I don't have my tripod, so I basically have the GoPro suction cup to the window. Um, so that's just gonna have to work for now. Um, if not, we just won't put this in the vlog, but let's just let's just give it a go. So um, yeah, so I told you I went to the bank already. So I have my little Lux wallet here, absolute favorite wallet. And so got my cash money. We'll pull that and use that in a second. Um, but yeah, so actually I have one of our sinking fund envelopes in here right now. Uh, pets. I don't know if you could see that. Um, I needed to stop by Target and grab some cat litter and um, a little toy for them. So that's why I have this in my wallet, but normally it'll live in here. This is our sinking fund finder. And yes, I have it in alphabetical order because I'm just, that's how I am. So let me find where this goes. Okay, so we should not need this anymore. So basically at the beginning of this year before COVID, I would pull cash out for our sinking funds our savings challenge, our gas, our groceries, spending, fun, all of that. But right now I'm just pulling cash out for our sinking funds to put in here and our savings challenge. Our gas money and our grocery money all stays in our checking account and we just use our debit card when we need to buy that stuff. So today, all I pulled out was $77, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77. So let me go ahead and organize this. Okay, so <clears throat> basically what sinking funds are, are categories of future spending that you know is potential. Like, let me just give you some examples here. It's hard to read, but this first category is anniversary. We currently have zero. Our anniversary has already passed in May, but we did start at the beginning of the year and saved up for um, a fancy like dinner. And then birthdays, those are inevitable and happen throughout the year for most people. So this is a ongoing sinking fund. Every week I put some amount of money towards it. Car maintenance, again, inevitable. It could happen at any moment in time. I continuously put money towards this. So this is just some examples. So for birthdays, I already have, you can see here, I already have $30 and I plan on adding $10 today. So I should have 40, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I'm 
Basically all these sinking funds are gonna get $10 today. So again, car maintenance, I put the date, I add 10, and then I add it to the total. So that way I always have an idea of what's going on in here. So just put this guy in there, tens. So this should have 183. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83. So again, car maintenance, that's for anything. Car washes, oil changes, new tires. Um, Matt and I just recently had our oil changes done and um, we're honestly due for another car wash and like vacuuming and all that fun stuff, but um, we'll do that when we get to it. So this sinking fund is for car tags, which ours are due um, on in April. So at the beginning of the year, I'll put $5 every week and that should get us to the amount of money we need to pay for our car tags. Next up is Christmas. So when um, Matt got furloughed, we took our weekly expenses very seriously and instead of putting money towards certain sinking funds, we stuffed it to like our savings account so that way we knew we had money for bills. Um, so some of our sinking funds are not really where I want them to be right now. Um, especially Christmas. It's a little low, um, but you know, it is what it is. It's better to have something saved up ready to go for Christmas than nothing at all. So I can't complain. So Christmas should have 335. One, two, three, 20, 35. Next is clothing. I have a clothing um, sinking fund that I was putting money towards at the beginning of the year, but this one's kind of got gotten like the back burner at this point. Same with golf. Even though Matt does still golf, he actually has a like membership to the Disney golf courses. So um, we still pay for that, but this was meant for like extra golfing trips that he would use that money for. Um, he still does that, but we just kind of try and fit that into our budget. I just don't. He just takes the money from our checking account. Next is haircut. I'm actually not going to fund this right now. I just got my haircut, which you saw in this last vlog, and I cut Matt's hair. So we'll wait to fund this till later. This was for our HHN tickets and that got canceled this year. So this money got allocated to other sinking funds, um, which it, it is a bummer, but it's understandable. So this will wait until next year. Okay, if it looks like there's a different angle, the GoPro completely fell off the window. We're just gonna move right along here. So next up is household, and this gets money every week. This is for stuff like um, paper towels, razors, deodorant, that kind of stuff, which we just bought last week, so that's at zero. We're gonna add $10. $10. All right, so this is the pet envelope that I just took out of my wallet and the total is completely wrong because I just spent some money. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're adding a 10, so 16. I would normally put like what I use and subtract, but it's fine. I'm so like, I've done this for so long at this point, it it's fine. All right, next up is Thousand Trails and that's the membership that we have in order to stay here at this campground. Um, and that's an annual fee. So I just figured if we save $10 every week, we'll have that money ready for next year. So this one will also get $10. This will now put us at $150. So $120, 40, 
All right, next up is travel. Again, this, is, this one's gonna get $10. We have a vacation planned for December, um, early December, and we're going to Georgia. We're gonna be staying with my friend Heidi, and then we'll be traveling, traveling a little bit further north and staying in a cabin with our family. So adding ten dollars to this, we should have one seventy. One hundred twenty, forty, sixty, seventy. So this little extra bit of money is going towards our savings challenge. So this here is my little savings challenge jar. In here are little pieces of paper with numbers written on them. So at the beginning of the year, I wrote one through 52. So a number for each, um, each week of the year. And every week I'll shake this up, pull a number, and that number is how much money I need to save for that week. And the total by the end of the year should be $1,368, I believe. And this week I pulled a seven. So I've got five, six, seven, and that's gonna go into this fund. Okay, so far this has 939. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Almost there. Now this savings challenge is just fun. Um, this money is going to go straight to paying off debt. That's our main goal right now is paying off debt. Um, and yeah, but it's just one more fun way to save and those are our sinking funds, everyone. Ta-da! Uh, Josh and I are actually out here at Oak Trail playing golf. Walking down three, there's Josh. I just landed in this bunker and it hopped out, so we'll see how the rest of the round goes. Guys, look at what I found on my way home. And there's kids literally right down there. This freaking water moccasin trying to get them out of the road. Get going, get. Shoot them back into the habitat back there with all the water. I don't want any kids getting bit. Good morning, guys. So today is Sunday. So, today uh, is my third day in a row playing golf. Um, Friday I played golf with Josh a little bit. Um, I have a little bit of videos here, not too many. Yesterday I went out with my dad and played golf at Willowbrook. I, that course was just, uh, how do I say, you get what you paid for and we only paid like $23. But uh, yeah, it was like a swamp we played in. Uh, today, I'm going out with my buddy Josh, and this is the Josh that we went up to Iowa in January for a wedding. If you look back at the videos, you'll see him. Um, but going up, going over to play the Palm at Disney with him today. So, him, his dad, and his sister. So it should be fun. I think his dad and his sister is only gonna play nine, um, but we're just gonna go out there and we're just gonna have some fun. I have a little update on my running. Um, yesterday marks, I'm still under two months, um, but 
I have passed 115 miles, 115 and a half miles since starting this back on July 24th. Like what? 115 miles in two months. That's like, Brent and I kind of averaged it out. It's just under two miles a day. Um, yesterday I ran five miles. That that sucked. But um, I'm having some foot problems. It's my left foot. It's it's hard to walk. Um, I'm hoping it's not too serious. Um, but we're gonna see how it feels when I play golf today, and then I'm supposed to run a mile today, but we shall see how my foot holds up. Um, so yeah, it's been a good day. Oh, here we go. So got a weight update as well. Got a weight update from yesterday. Um, 9-19-2020. I am officially down to, drum roll please, uh, 239 pounds. That is a total of 29 pounds lost since the beginning or the end of July. So we're uh, our little swamp here. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. So it's raining. It looks like we uh, <laughs> had a tropical storm come through. Um, but, yeah. but we're going to go back to the clubhouse, see if we can get a rain check for next time.